So chapter one, lesson three. So we're just going to be discussing emerging technologies and the impacts. So some of these impacts aren't in your textbook. So we're just going to read through these um, just as additional impacts. And hopefully they do make sense. So let's do this. Describe AI. What are the impacts of AI? So AI is an emerging technology. So AI, artificial intelligence, this is a computer science that is focused on creating um, computer systems that simulate human intelligence. So what are the impacts of AI? So they may be able to accurately predict weather. AI software will soon be able to sift through weather data more accurately than humans can and will be used to predict approaching storms and automatically issue warnings. They can increase leisure time. Okay, so there are robotic vacuums around already. So these can detect walls and other objects in order to vacuum around them. People can then leave them running whilst they enjoy extra spare time. So they can spe spend time with their families or they can go out and exercise, etc. Safer transport. So cars that can self-park using AI already exist and it is predicted that cars that drive themselves will be available soon. These could drastically reduce road accidents. Driverless trains already exist in some countries. Increased personal safety. Modern home alarm systems use artificial intelligence software that can tell the difference between the homeowners and intruders. So it can scan your face, for example. Um, the software automatically alerts the police when intruders are detected. All right, so increased personal safety. Improved medical care. Robotic surgery assistants are being used to quickly and accurately pass the correct surgical to tools to doctors. Uh, the few seconds saved in getting the extra, getting the correct tool to the doctor can save patients' lives. Okay, so you've just got to be able to state each of these impacts and then give an explanation or description of these impacts. What is biometrics and what are the impacts of it? All right, so biometrics is where parts of a person's body are used for identification purposes. So, for example, retina scan, fingerprint scan. So, if you just imagine, like if you have buildings and things, if you want to only allow certain people access to the building, you can put a, a fingerprint scanner on the outside of the building, and then the employees, for example, can scan their fingerprints into the fingerprint scanner, and if they are employees to the business, um, then they will be allowed access to the building. All right, so biometrics, using body parts to authenticate or identify a person and therefore authenticate access into an area, for example. So what are impacts of biometrics? So you have better airport security. Iris recognition is already in use in some airports. Travelers have their eyes and iris scanned into a system and this data is laid up is matched up when the person is performing airport checks later on. Increased building security. So fingerprint access to buildings have been replacing the older methods of locks and keys. This method ensures that only authorized people can enter restricted buildings or rooms. Another one is reduced car theft. So cars already exist that use fingerprints to only lock, unlock their doors or start the engine for the fingerprint that is registered. This means that doors will not be unlocked for a print that is not recognized and makes the car harder to steal. And the last impact is more secure mobile phones. So maybe on your phone already you have a fingerprint scanner which allows only you access to your phone or others whom you have allowed access to your phone. So mobile phones contain our lives. We used our phones for everything from social media to shopping online. They need to be as secure as possible in order to protect the valuable data they contain. Apple recently released an iPhone model that uses a fingerprint reader to identify the true owner of the phone. It will not unlock for a fingerprint that it does not recognize. So biometrics, you must be able to state each of these impacts and give an explanation of each impact. What are the impacts of robotics? So using robots, for example, in a factory. What are the impacts of this or in other areas? Increased personal time. So if robots can carry out domestic chores, this frees up more time for us to spend as we wish. This could mean more time spent at work or more enjoyable activities such as socializing. They could help reduce uh, 
more efficient manufacturing. Robots can manufacture products such as cars much faster and cheaper than humans can. This means that companies can make products at a less cost, and this means greater business profits. However, a negative impact of robotics is that they can replace humans, therefore loss of jobs. Due to high and cheaper productivity, robots have taken over the manufacturing jobs that used to be carried out by humans. This means that humans are missing out on employment, on assembly lines and factory work. And a final one is safer working environments. So robots can carry out tasks that are too dangerous for humans. For example, spraying cars with toxic paint, defusing bombs on battlefields, and search and rescue operations in buildings destroyed by earthquakes. So you've got to be able to state each of these impacts and describe each one. What is quantum cryptography and what are the impacts of it? Quantum cryptography, or in other words, a different type of encryption method, is an emerging, te emerging technology that allows messages and data to be sent with complete privacy. So for example, on WhatsApp, there is an encryption method that is used. So when you're making phone calls on WhatsApp, no one can listen in onto your phone call or eavesdrop because your call is encrypted. So that is the same pretty much as quantum cryptography. Okay, so using encryption to secure uh, communication or any other things digitally. So what are the impacts? You can completely secure voting. Citizens of countries have the right to vote in new governments, but history is littered with examples of where these votes have been tampered with in order to influence election outcomes. Therefore, securing the votes with quantum crypt encryption methods ensures that they cannot be tampered with or changed. So once they voted um, digitally, they are encrypted so that no one can go in and access or change the way that someone has voted. Completely secure communication, so like with WhatsApp, messages sent by military often include the locations of squadrons or special ops teams. If enemy forces intercepted these messages, it could have severe consequences. So therefore, if we use quantum cryptography to secure the messages, that eliminates the risk of them being read or heard by unauthorized ears. Completely secure bank transfers, any electrons, electronic transfer of money, such as at ATMs or buying goods online, will be completely secure. Some banks are already using quantum cryptography for the purposes of securing money transfers. And the last one, completely secure personal information. Uh, health records, bank details and other types of personal information will be absolutely secure from hackers and other people wishing to commit identity theft crimes. So quantum cryptography is just making sure that information is safe by encrypting that information. So remember, encryption is the scrambling of data so it becomes unreadable to a third party unless they have the decryption key. But usually the decryption key is only held by the person who you want to read that information. So that is quantum cryptography. Make sure you can state these impacts and give an explanation. What is computer assisted translation or CAT? What are the impacts of CAT? So computer assisted translation is where a human translator uses computer software to help in the translation process. So if you think of Google Translate or the spelling and grammar checks in Microsoft Word, for example, these use um, computer assisted translation software. All right. So Google Translate, for example, if you want to translate words from English to Afrikaans, it then is able to do that. And it's building the grammar checks. Usually Microsoft Word, for example, will underline incorrect words in red, and then you can right-click on those words and change them to the correct ones. So those are examples of uh, software that uses CAT. So the impacts, more accurate documents, because you have spell checkers and things like that, you can correct your mistakes in a document. A more multilingual society. Anyone with an internet connection can access tools such as Google Translate and the vast collection of language databases that the tools can search through. Uh, so this makes accessing other languages much easier than in the past and makes it easier for people to learn these new languages. And last impact, quicker and more efficient translations. So foreign visitors to countries can be communicated with 
much easier through these CAT tools. They are especially useful in places like embassies where a wide range of foreign visitors may need to communicate with local officials about problems or ask for advice, etc. So computer assisted translation, you're going to know what the impacts are and explain each one. What is 3D and holographic imaging? Give the impacts of it. Okay, this is a technique where images are made to appear three dimensional and to actually have depth. What are the impacts of it? Improve security. So if you have a look at credit cards, ID cards, software and some banknotes, you'll probably see that there are holograms on these objects, right? So if these objects have holograms, it means that they are genuine. So therefore, if you include holograms, it's a way of preventing forged duplicates being created because to duplicate a hologram is very difficult, right? So it improves security, shows that these objects are genuine. Better movie experiences. Hollywood has been using 3D imaging within the production of movies for many years, so you might know this already. So these provide the you with a much more immersive experience. And greater storage of data. It is thought that the technology behind holograms will eventually be used to provide the means to store large amounts of data. So companies have already produced disks that use holographic layers that each have the potential to hold a massive 3.9 terabytes. So that's equivalent of a, over 150 standard Blu-ray disks. So holographic imaging, you've got to know the impacts and give an explanation for each one. The last one is virtual reality. So what is virtual reality and what are the impacts of it? Virtual reality is where computers are used to create an artificial environment that users can interact with as if it were real. So if you've ever seen um, those people that put on goggles and then they go into some 3D environment that simulates a real situation, that is pretty much virtual reality. So what are the impacts? Improved medical surgeons. So surgeons can be trained using virtual patients. This allows them to practice over and over until they've perfected a particular surgery without the risk to a real patient. Large and stronger buildings. Virtual buildings allow architects to walk around to experience what the building would look like, obviously in virtual reality, when completed and check for potential errors before the actual building is constructed. So you can test your buildings as well. So you can simulate earthquakes and see how they are affected. And last, well, not the last one, but more effective treatment of phobias, right? So virtual reality has been used to help patients overcome phobias and anxieties. So, for example, if you have a spider phobia or a fear of heights, for example, they'll put you in a virtual reality system where they might have some spiders around and you've got to hang in there and just wait and try to overcome any fears you might have in that simulation. Or they might put you on top of a building to look down if you've got a fear of heights. And through doing this over and over again, you might be able to overcome the majority of or most of your fears. So more impacts of virtuality. Training in dangerous situations. Virtuality can be used for training in situations where it is impossible to practice the real thing. So for example, emergency evacuations. All right, so they might put you in a dangerous situation and see how you um, go through the process of evacuating safely. More realistic education, so VR can give students the opportunity to learn in a much more interactive way. So for example, astronomy students can learn about the solar system by engaging with the objects in the virtual environment. They could look around stars, move planets, and track the orbits of comets. Right, I hope that was okay. Let me know if you have any questions.